Are you tired of searching through endless glitters only to realize you don't have the right color? Ugh! Does your glitter ombre fade look like it belongs in the toilet? Direct! Well then do I have news for you, mister? Yeah, you. Just cheat! Grab this master's airbrush and these Christy Taylor Creations alcohol inks and come on over and I'll show you how. So to start, I just put on a layer of epoxy to do the epoxy method glitter application. And I'm using this Opel glitter, which is beautiful on everything. I may or may not have ran out, but hey, it's enough. Don't worry about it. I filled in the gaps with some holographic because you can't really go wrong with that. All right, now that looks absolutely beautiful. And if you didn't get a chance to see it in the quick little, choo -choo 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 -choo, I had a silver base and I used the Opel Mother of Pearl glitter. And then I filled in the gaps with holographic cause like you can't go wrong with that crap. It's really pretty, but it's kind of plain, kind of boring. If you don't have all the colors of glitter and you stink it doing a fade and you want to make it simple, uh, this stuff, takes on the color of whatever base. You've seen me use this opal, mother of pearl, whatever you call it, in tons of my videos. You can catch it here in the easiest, most beautifully sparkliest tumbler ever. And I mean, it's super cool, super cool. Get you some, get some. Links in the description for all my glitters, for the inks, and for what we're about to do now. Let's get this bad boy out and put an ombre on this thing. First, we're gonna sand it down with 400 grit and it'll look super dull, but it's a little bumpy right now cause I really didn't smooth it out. And you may have noticed, uh, I ran out of this stuff while I was sprinkling it on. So it didn't get crazy covered, but you'll never know it. So let's spray some water and sand this thing. There. Now it's all dull and ugly looking, but don't worry. A lot of you think that this won't shine back up, but look, uh, let me get the rubbing alcohol. We're going to clean it off with some rubbing alcohol. Look at the shine come right back. But that's what it'll look like when you epoxy it. The shine will come back, so don't worry. Just to give you guys a little tip, when you first get your airbrush, it'll have a point three in it, which is great. And like this airbrush cost me 30 bucks on Amazon. Unlike my $250 airbrush from Iwata or my $700 airbrush from Iwata. Yikes. But this mug here is great value for what you need to do. And if you want to try airbrushing, I suggest you go down to the link below and get you one of these. Try it out. It's fun. It's fun. Trust me. Hey, that guy in the camera right there is, um, he doesn't lie often to you guys. When you first get it, you want to clean it out with some alcohol though, to get it all nice and clean in there, in there. Watch this. That's how you clean it. Now comes the fun part. <laughs> Picked. Three colors. I know there's two here. I can't decide between these two. I don't know. They're both beautiful. But a glitter ombre fade usually has two colors and you mix the two in the middle to get a nice little middle color. But with this, you have a lot more options of mixing and you can put colors together that wouldn't normally go together because of the fade of the airbrush and it makes it super cool. So feel free to come up with crazy ideas. But for this, I'm going with yellow to a orangey, folly to a coppery brownie. That's my names for them. You call it what you want to. So let's grab your old trusty airbrush. And what I did is I put my middle color in and I'm just gonna, you know, color the middle area that I want orangey. Work your way all the way around.
Oops, ran out. Need some more. Hey, be sure to put your lid on because uh, I've done that before. Be going crazy and this stuff just splash out everywhere. So you don't want to make a mess. Feel free to go around more than once. Who cares? It's not going to hurt it. Just going to intensify the color. So when I'm going up and down, go up, let go, down, let go, up, let go, down, let go. And if you'll see, it already throws off a little fade that way. It's going to make it so much easier to blend these other colors. It's just, it's just natural. One thing you don't want to do is get up close and spray too heavy. And this, like, you can end up doing this with a two color fade or one color fade faster than you could even put the glitter fade on there. So awesome. Cleaning out between colors is easy. Grab your rubbing alcohol, spray it in, and it comes clean. Oh, we got a little bit done there. The next color I'm going to do with mine is the top, and I'm going to go with this yellowy uh, Anna. Anna. Go around a few times till you're happy. Till you get the saturation that you're looking for. And you can always go back with this color and fade it up higher, lighter. So go back further and just fog it in. Give it that good transition. For the bottom, I'm going to use this Bayard Brown and it'll make a nice little coppery transition for the bottom, which is my, my idea I had in mind, you know. Okay, so we're just going to do that. Get this thing finished up. Isn't that beautiful? You can go up here. When you fade it out, you can do it at an angle. Look at that beauty. Well, that's a beautiful color. Look at that. Isn't that ridiculous? So keep going around. Make your way all the way around. Get the coverage you want. And you can fade it up higher into this. Kind of blend it together. It's really up to you. But look how smooth and beautiful that transition is. Is that not? Let's, let's take a look at that for a second. So smooth. So there you have a beautiful, gorgeous fade with three colors. Could you imagine doing three colors? It's, too, it's hard enough to do two glitter fade ombres, but could you imagine doing three? That's almost impossible with glitter. But with this, look at what you got here. You got a nice yellowish to orangish to copperish. You can't beat that. Seriously. So the next step is to seal it with this stuff after this dries and if you need to know how to use this click the link in the card it shows you exactly tricks and techniques to use this beautiful can of mate clear a there's no a we will do something cool on top of it but you know what you have to wait till the next video to find out that ombre fade is flawless such smooth transitions with the airbrush and alcohol ink. Never seen anybody do that before, but it just makes sense to me. If you want to see what I turn this ombre fade into a beautiful, fally looking color, stay tuned next week and I'll show you what I turn this beautifully faded ombre, fally, glittery tumbler into. It's fall themed, so. It'll be beautiful. Throw some leaves on it. And I might even do some dish soap in. Yeah, just wait. You'll see. And now, 
the moment you've all been waiting for. Well, at least the ones of you that entered the beach tumbler raffle. Let's go right now and see who won this. Now it's time to see who the lucky winner is. And we have all the names over here. I'm going to have to go really slow because there's a lot of names. A lot of you entered more than once, which is awesome. Go kind of slow here. It's going to take a minute. Hopefully you see your name coming up. You may have to hit the video at half speed or still going. Whoops. Trying to be smooth here. Go nice and slow. It's easy to see the ones that entered more than once. The names all grouped together. So if you entered, I know this thing's kind of glitchy the way it moves up, but I promise your name is in here. If you entered, and we're almost to the end. And there. So as usual, I'm going to shuffle, mix them all up because it was in big sections here. Now you're spread out all over the board and you have a equal chance. And if you have more entries, you have more chances to win. All right, let's press the button. Here we go. In three, two, one. Let's see who the winner is. The winner of the beach tumbler is, the name is so small I cannot read it, Connie Gilbo. Connie Gilbo, thank you for entering. And now, I've actually got a surprise for you guys. I've got two Enzies, and we're going to do another drawing for another one. You didn't even know that though, because I got tricks up my sleeve, even though I got short sleeves on. So let's remove all these instances, Connie, and we're going to give the second channer, channer second. Now we're going to shuffle again and we are going to spin for the second tumbler winner. Second beach tumbler. I got some twinsies right here. Let's not block the view. It's spinning. Let's see where we at. Lisa Picon. I'm sorry. That's the name. Picanio. Picanio. I think that sounds good enough. Sounds right. What do you think? So congratulations. You are winner number two. Hope you guys like this video. Uh, click these next videos and watch. And